everyone and welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some new Rublev paints that Rublev has just added to their line and they were kind enough to send me some free samples so I will say up front is that yes these samples were free but I'm going to give them an unbiased review uh, as much as possible. So uh, let's take a look and see what we've got here. And again, these are brand new colors that they've just added to their line. And they are synthetic earth tones or earth tone hues, if you will. And there's transparent oxide red, which I'm thrilled about because this is a color that I normally use on my palette. And now that Rublev is making it awesome. Uh, the second one is transparent uh, yellow iron oxide, which is kind of like a transparent version of yellow ochre. And then uh, this Mars Brown. Now for the Mars Brown and the transparent yellow iron oxide, um, I don't really have anything, I don't have anything uh, uh, in any other brand to compare these two. So we'll just mix these with some white and kind of take a look at how they handle. Uh, but this one, the transparent oxide red, uh, I do want to compare this to another uh, well-known brand transparent oxide red and just kind of see how it uh, stands up now again this is not a scientific test it's just some casual color mixing to see what the paints are like and to share them with you so that if you would like to try some out uh, and buy some you can and you'll know what they look like so let's get started so let's start with the transparent oxide yellow and see what that looks like. So just put a little out here. Now as it comes out of the tube, that's really interesting because it's really, really dark. Much darker than yellow ochre. Because it's trans and that's because it's transparent. So uh, let's just take a look and see what it looks like. If I thin this out, the little glazing, we'll get a chance to, yeah, see, that's a beautiful, really beautiful thing, because it's very transparent, so it's, it's good for, it's going to be good for glazing, and now you're getting that beautiful yellow ochre color, that's really pretty, so that's a nice color, it almost kind of reminds me of uh, the old quinacri quinacridone gold that they used to make, because um, that was a beautiful color, and then and then the the they stopped making the pigment, so they couldn't make paint out of it anymore. So, uh, but this is very similar. It kind of reminds reminds me of that. So um, that's a beautiful color. So, and I noticed this uh, paint has a little bit of a it's kind of a little bit of a ropey quality to it. It's, it's kind of interesting. The mass tone gets this like sort of thick and thin quality to it. Uh, and you do see that in some pigments. And that's just, that's got to do with the pigment and the way the chemical you know, interacts with the linseed oil and all that good stuff. So, um, oh, oh, you know what, let's, I'm sorry, let's mix that color with a little white. And see what it looks like. See now when I mix it with white, it definitely tones down as you would expect, because white cools things off and moves them, you know, into a less chromatic space. Um, and I notice that when I mix it with the white, it doesn't quite have the same look to it as a uh, regular yellow ochre and white does. It's got more of a, a tannish, um, less yellow tone to it. But I like it. It's it's nice. So it's pretty. It's a great color. So that would be great for like plein air landscaping, painting, and uh, stuff like that. Flesh tones, probably, if you're a portrait artist. So, I mean, Rub Rublev's, you know, their products are fantastic. So I can't imagine I'd ever get one that was bad. Um, so 
so this is really more just to look at the properties of each one and what it's like. Um, okay, so let's move on to the Mars Brown. So this is Mars Brown. And I am going to grab a clean brush. Okay, so. Oh, and I, you know what I should probably say? For the transparent yellow oxide, the pigment is pigment yellow 42, um, which is the same pigment number as the synthetic uh, yellow ochre. But this is the obviously the transparent version. And the Mars Brown is pigment brown 43. says so synthetic iron and manganese oxides. So this is probably going to be, I would guess, close to like a transparent burnt umber and I can already see that it's very dark and very rich now this one unlike the uh, first color this one has a very smooth consistency to the paint it brushes out very evenly and it's it's nice and kind of silky it's not too stiff or too soft or oily it's got a really nice like silky feeling to it so when I mix it with white, we'll see what we get. Now that's obviously a strong color because this is titanium white and I just put a lot of white in there. And usually titanium white will like blow things out of the water. Uh, but you can see even with all that white, it's taking a lot to lighten it up. So this is a very strong color. Uh, which is cool because that means a little bit will go a long way and you won't have to buy it as often. So I'd like to actually see. Yeah, see it doesn't take much there to, to tint that white out, even the titanium. So when you make something with white, you can really see what the color's undertones are. Uh, so that's a nice sort of warm chocolatey brown. Uh, it's definitely in the burnt umber family. Um, but it's really, really a nice color. So, but that tinting strength is yeah. See, so now you now that you see me do that, you'll know going in. Uh, that is a strong tinter because uh, it just walloped the heck out of that titanium white uh, that I'm using. Uh, which is a Windsor and Newton titanium white. Uh, anyway, okay, so, um, well, let me see what that looks like. If I glaze it, glaze with it. Yeah, it's kind of opaque, but it's it's got that same rich chocolatey brown. So this is kind of like a like what you might call like a burnt umber in that family range, but it's Mars brown. Um, but it's a beautiful color. Yeah, very warm, very rich, very dark, very powerful. So uh, okay, so let's move on to the final color, which is the one that I was most eager to try out, which is the transparent oxide red so now the this pigment in and of itself is typically uh, a strong color um, I did get some from one company that I will remain unnamed that I was surprised uh, that their version of this color was super super weak and I just I couldn't figure out why because it was a premium grade brand so anyway so this is the transparent Oxide red, which as you can see has a beautiful, like fiery red undertone. So I'm using a clean brush here. So, so yeah, ooh, look at that color. That is such a cool color. So it's really pretty. Can you glaze with it? 
when it thinned it down, it makes this really rich, fiery red brown. That's really, I love that color, and it's so useful, you know, because it's great for warming up shadows and everything. So, okay, so let's uh, kind of portion out. You know what? Actually, let me put out another. I'm going to try to put out as close to an equal portion of white as I can, and we'll test that against the other. That was pretty close to what I had. Okay. Again, this is not scientific, but it's, it'll be close enough just for a test. Um, I want to mix equal amounts of this Rublev color with this white. Okay. Let's see what we get. And compare that to the other brand. That is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on your cam uh, on your screen because my camera is kind of not that great at color, but it, it's that's a beautiful rich red brown. It's really beautiful. So okay, so I'll try to take an equal amount of this and, and a little less white. Yeah, and I can already see because uh, I even added maybe a little less white to this one than I did the other one. That this one doesn't have quite the same tinting power as the Rublev. Uh, you can see, you get close. See how much darker this is than that, and those are rough, roughly. You know, as close to the same amount of paint as I could get it. Uh, so, and there's even a little, like a little less white in this one, and it still ends up lighter. So you can see those rub rublev paints are really, really well pigmented, uh, and that transparent oxide red is just—it's such a beautiful color, you know. So in in mass tone, it's a very dark, 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 warm orangey brown so and then of course if we mix it with white you're going to get a more of a brownish sort of orangey red color because once you add white of course it becomes opaque so then you can really see how warm it is uh, See, that's different from the glaze, which has more of the red coming through. Uh, but that's just the way pigments work. So um, when you add white, it's going to get opaque. So, so and uh, this this has this is has very nice, like the brushing quality, just like the dark brown on this is very nice. It's a very nice, smooth, silky feel to the color. So anyway, so those are the new three new paints that Rublev has added to their line. The Mars Brown, the Transparent Red Oxide, and the Transparent Yellow Oxide. Uh, and all three of these are beautiful colors. And that Transparent Red Oxide, I'm definitely going to be buying more of that in the future. Um, and the nice thing about Earth colors like this is they tend to be... Uh, less expensive than your heavy metal colors like cadmiums and stuff. So so that's always nice So anyway, so I hope that this you found this video helpful in taking a look at these new paints from Rublev And if you're interested in trying them out, I will put a link in the description below uh, To Rublev's website where you can order some anyway I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, 
where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!